Hi everybody, Gertlo from Cape Town. Today I'm going to explain to you how to train for size when you've got weak wrists. Now, although even some young bodybuilders struggle with weak wrists, it's most frequently the domain of the over 40 lifter. The wrists simply do not have the power and the ability to support the weight that you're being lifted. Um, this could become a huge problem for a person in quest for size. Uh, because the key ingredient for growth is through intense heavy weight lifting and regularly uh, getting to the point of failure. Now I'm one of such persons that struggles with weak wrists and um, I simply cannot hold the size of the weight required to stimulate uh, sufficient growth. But I'm definitely not going to call it game over. I, I made plans and uh, it is much easier than most people think. Let me try and explain. You must get a wrist-supporting rubber-grabbing glove, uh, like the one that I'm showing in the video. To ensure that the part that you fold over the wrist is 100% secure and doesn't come loose while you engage in heavy lifting, you must use duct tape in the way that I'm showing you in the video. Tape it on both wrists, securing the part that folds over. Yeah, sure, people in the locker rooms laugh at me and <laughs> make jokes. I don't care. I'm doing my thing and I'm growing and everybody's saying, wow, so who's winning? Now with every weight that you lift, that is now dumbbells, barbells, pull-ups, seated rows for your back and especially shrugs. The rubber part of the glove must be wrapped around the weight where your hand would go and then your hand must go over the rubber part in the reverse position. Doing this alleviates the pressure on the wrist easily by up to 80%. Now the last part is that uh, when you're performing bench pressures, make sure that your hand is always in the overhand position with the thumb in the same direction as all your other fingers. Uh, let the weight of the bar rest on the lower part of just the palm of your hand so that no pressure is applied to your wrist. Never clasp the thumb the other way around the bar. This will put undue pressure on your wrist. Now the above sounds simple, but I guarantee you that it will enhance your ability greatly to lift serious weights without hurting the wrist and put you straight back into growth territory again. This is the way I've been lifting for the last five years. And now uh, I'm close to 52 and I'm, I'm pretty much in the best shape of my life. I hope this helps guys. Be wise and grow. For those interested in my online transformation coaching, uh, I provide uh, rather intense coaching, intensive coaching. So please check out the link that I put on the screen for you. So everybody, cheers. Grow. Hatlow signing off.